they all have a story, and they love to tell it. And the younger generation are so busy. But if you really stop and ask them a question, they have a wonderful story to tell, and they want to. It's always a transition when you give up your home that you've lived in for a long time. I didn't want them to live in a community that was like a chain or too big. McCride is just the right size that they feel comfortable and I think within a few days of them being here, everybody knew who they were. He's quite a comedian. Just a serious person <laughs> who, has, who has fluffy edges or something. We met on a dating site. They call it a wink, and that's just to click on their picture if you're interested. I thought, that's a good possibility, but he winked at me first. It's a wonderful way to have a nice community to call home, and we're happy that we made the decision to come while we could make the decision. They made it real easy to continue being in love with each other. I wanted them to feel comfortable and feel like this was their home, and that's the way that Pat and Judy make their residents feel. Judy McRae well, comes to mind. This skinny little short blonde headed girl bounces around with all this energy and has everybody <laughs> wanting to talk to her. Judy is Miss Hospitality. Pat likes to tease. He teases my mom relentlessly. <laughs> I think because she and Stan like to hold hands when they walk down the hallway, so he's always saying, hey, that's not allowed here. They just love that. They're a very, very nice family, very nice couple. A girlfriend and I had gone out, and I met Pat that evening. She was pretty and young. She's a couple years younger than me. Five. Okay, five years younger than me. And uh, we've been married 43 years, and, and she is very much a part of our family business, and that's what it is, a family business. You should never be bored when you live here at McCright. We try to participate in as much as we can. They have movies in the theater. The men have a coffee clutch. They have exercise classes, and we go to happy hour. And if Stan could stay awake long enough, we might go and play bingo. We knew that it would be an easy move for her to go to the next step. We knew that McCright would help us with that transition for her, and we have no doubt that she'll spend the rest of her life here. They blossom. They come out of themselves when they're around people their own age. A lot of people think that they're committing their parents to this institution. Even their parents thinking, oh, I don't want to go to a nursing home. And they come and they're going, oh my gosh. And most of the time, the children are saying, when can we move in? Just because you get a certain age doesn't mean that you don't care about anything or that life doesn't mean anything. It does. We're trying to provide an environment that allows you to grow old with dignity and enjoy yourself. I knew mom would like it here, but I didn't know she would love it here. And I asked her several times since she's been here, do you guys still love it here? And she said, yes, we do. Mm -hmm.